Hey, hi, welcome. So this is my new YouTube channel. It's pretty exciting, isn't it? As you can tell, we're gonna be painting some paint chips and I am so excited to be doing this. My very, very good friend, Elisa, went ahead and told me to get this all together and to film it. And so here we are. I am going to go ahead and start with a short sketch just to try to warm up, but it, uh, it doesn't go anywhere, so it's pretty short. So for those of you who don't know me as well, um, my name is Jess. Nice to meet you. Uh, let's see, I'm a Cancerian, I am 22, and I have a big love for art and learning kind of my shit. I also haven't really decided if I'm going to be cursing on this channel or not. I don't think I would want YouTube to be monetized, honestly. I know that a lot of people don't even really make that much money on YouTube, especially as smaller YouTubers, so I don't think I'm going to be censoring myself like that. If you're not used to hearing me curse, welcome. You have been privileged. <laughs> I've been an artist for quite some time now. I officially decided to pursue art as like a full-time career within the past, you know, two years or so. I haven't been in university too long for art, but I think I've been doing pretty well and I've been loving it. I kind of feel like I just have this brain that's pretty good for figuring out complex problems in unique ways. and. Kind of just fits my whole character so i really do love doing this clearly i have a youtube channel now and i want to be doing a lot on it i'm definitely going to be doing these paint swatch paintings at least until the end of the year or at least i have that planned um, so you can be pretty sure every Sunday, I guess, or I might change up the schedule, but every week I should be getting a video out on these pink swatches. So subscribe. <laughs> I have to do YouTube things now. Um, no, but really like subscribe and do the bell thing because YouTube. But yeah, so hopefully I'm going to be posting a lot of I don't know, just myself on here? I can tell you it's not going to be just an art channel, which is why I didn't name it The Assassinix Art. It's just a channel for me, so some days there will be art videos and some days it'll just be whatever randomness I decide to do. I know for sure I want to make some hair color videos because I love doing that and it feels like such a creative release for me. Um, I don't know if anybody would be interested in them, but I do currently read tarot and I would love to be making some tarot videos as well. But maybe that'll come on a separate channel for itself, just about tarot and occult stuffs, you know? So if you don't know, I do have quite a lot of other platforms now. Um, I pretty much exclusively post on Instagram. I don't really like Twitter or Facebook, um, but you can always find me on Instagram. Usually my stories are full of randomness. I do also have an Etsy store, which currently sells those tarot readings that I had been talking about earlier. If you feel like taking a visit, it would be a super great help and support for me, but if not, that's cool too. Additionally, I also have a Patreon now and a Ko-fi, so that you can donate if you would love to be a support. I know times are trying, but any support you can give would be super, super, super helpful. So thanks. All right, well, I'm already getting into the painting, so I guess I can start talking about kind of what my plans were for here. 
and what I was thinking when I started everything. So as you saw, the first swatch is called Buzz In, and obviously it's this super bright yellow, you think of bumblebees, and I just couldn't kick that out of my head, but I thought it would be so funny to have, and cute, to have this little bee sitting on the little buzzers for like apartments and complexes and stuff, and this bee is trying to ask these people to let him in. I don't know if a bee would actually be heavy enough to push the button, but I thought it was cute. <laughs> I haven't been painting in quite a while, but painting is one of my favorite things to do, along with drawing. As many may know, I am a college student currently. I am getting my art degree in graphic design and I'm getting a minor in metals, so like art jewelry, metal sculpturing, stuff like that. Pretty excited. I found metals when I was in university, so it ended up becoming something really interesting that I've taken a good liking to. Oh, so if you do want to know more about my college experience and what kind of assignments I get as a graphic design student, what my other classes are, what the class load is like, anything like that, you can head over to my Patreon. I'm actually going to be posting exclusive college information and show my assignments, how they function, how they work, what they taught me, any advice, stuff like that. I do have a couple of tiers on my Patreon, so you can always just check it out and see what's up. If there's anything you guys do want to hear about from me, or if you have any questions about me and my experiences, what I do, I don't know, anything at all, just let me know. I have so many different topics I would want to cover. I love learning about so many different things and I'm kind of just this big sponge for knowledge. So pretty much any area that you can think of that seems interesting to you, I'm willing to explore it too. That's cool as hell. Like I said earlier, this YouTube channel is going to have a bunch of facets of me. And so if you know me in person, you might find out some stuff that you didn't know about me. And that's cool. I trust that most of the people who do know me in person in real what? I trust that most of the people who do know me in real life already know all of the things that I would be talking about anyways, and I am very confident that nobody would actually give me any crap for anything. So this is my free space just to do whatever I feel like and make sure that I'm expressing because it's important for me. Tied in with that you know, art is really important for me and my mental health, and I know that now mental health isn't super stigmatized. I mean, it still is, but like on a much lesser level now, so that's really nice. I also want to be a part of that and helping people learn more about themselves, learn more about others, become more empathetic, and I kind of just want this YouTube channel to be a space for everybody. I've never been somebody who likes to exclude others, and I would love this to be like an actual community. <laughs> I would love to like have stupid jokes and like share memes about random shit, and yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's the whole isolation and like quarantine and apocalypse happening, but I don't know. This feels like it's gonna be something good, and I can't say I'm not excited. I also want this to be a space of safety and just free expression. You know, just as a 22-year-old Hispanic, autistic, non-binary, femme-presenting person. Wow, so many labels. There's a lot of pressure that I don't feel like we need to have. Well, I didn't really talk about this second piece very much, but basically you're squeezing a laser out of a lemon. 
and somehow I still missed the greatest painting part. So let's just skip to those final shots and see how they look. Thanks for watching with me. Leave me a like if you liked it, and a dislike if you disliked it, because if you disliked it, I want to know that too. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.